Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today I'll be talking about the controversial neuroscience called brainwave entrainment. Brainwave entrainment happens when the frequency of the brain matches up with the frequency of an outside stimulus. Most stimuli are produced using sound or light, and sometimes even both in synchronization. The stimulus creates a rhythmic, sometimes pulsing pattern which, over time, the brain's frequency tends to match with. The effect this has on us causes us to feel relaxed, empowered, fearful, and even a bit euphoric, all depending on the frequency. Now, as I said before, most stimuli are produced using light, such as Geissen and Somerville's Dream Machine, and sound, like isochronic tones and mononeuro tones. But there's one in particular that has recently gained people's attention and criticism binaural beats. Let's first look at how they work. Binaural beats are caused when two pure sound frequencies are played separately in each ear, producing a much lower frequency from where it appears to be inside your head. If you aren't quite following, here's an example. Let's say we have a tone that's frequency is 350 hertz going into our right ear. And another tone with a frequency of 358 hertz going into our left ear. Because the tone in our left ear is 8 hertz higher than the one in our right, we will hear a frequency of 8 hertz when the two are played together. Pretty cool, huh? The frequency you just heard is categorized as an alpha wave, the same your brain produces when you are asleep or peacefully at rest. Studies have shown that binaural beats in the alpha, theta, and data range positively affect sleeping patterns and can aid with meditation, whilst the beta range helps us focus and maintain memory, but just how much can we do with binaural beats? Back in 2007, an online project called iDoser was launched. The goal was to give the public access to binaural beats, and for a couple bucks, you're able to listen to the frequency of your choice. Since then, the project has grown into an industry of its own, selling what iDoser calls doses iDoser.com has over 200 different mixes of frequencies available for instant downloading, all having different effects on your brain. Many of these doses simulate the effects of various drugs, out-of-body experiences, and some very extreme, unique, otherworldly visions, all without any lasting effects or addictions. With the rise in popularity in these digital drugs, many people are questioning the legality of it. Is it a drug, or is it just a sound? Those who want them gone are saying that it can be used as a gateway drug and that whoever listens to binaural beats are more likely to go from using headphones to, well, lighting up. I'm going to leave you with one question today. Because over a million doses are downloaded a year, do you think that binaural beats are the next big drug just waiting to be outlawed or just a fad that's better off used as a sleep aid? If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And thanks for listening, guys.